hey guys welcome to another video my name is joe and in this video i'll be showing you guys how to randomize the texture in blender let's go so right here we have blender loaded up and we're just going to scale this and scale this down and scale it on the x-axis also what we're going to do next is just um we're going to remove the texture switch on our hdri changes to the rendered view so we'll see what we're doing on the textures and then we can apply the scale so what we're going to do is just to create a new texture I'm going to bring in our texture, go to Blender, and we can drag this into the shader menu. So what we're going to do next is just connect the texture to the base color, and then we have our texture going on. Now, normally when we have this connected like this, and we try to duplicate the texture, you discover that it's the same mapping for all of these textures. So with this node setup, you can vary this along each geometry. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to control B just to give this a little bit more definition. And next I'm going to do, I'm just going to do control T to bring in our texture coordinate and our mapping node. If you don't have that set up, just go to your edits, preference, and you can turn on node wrangler. So the next we're going to do now is to bring in our object info node like we usually do in the first video. And by the way, this is the second part of a three-part series called Randomize 101. So you're just going to be teaching you guys how to randomize in Blender. So I'm going to bring in the object info node. And what I can do to vary this is to plug this into the location. Now I have this plugged into the location. I can duplicate. And you see that we're having different location whenever we duplicate this geometry and mesh, right? Now what I'm going to do next to vary this a bit more is to bring in a vector map node. Now the vector map node is connected here. What I can do is to bring in the randomizer and connect to the vector. And you see that this is another level of variation that we can bring to our mesh. Right? We can bring in that level of variation and we can also even disconnect this one and you see that we still have the variation active. Now, if you notice, all of these have the same luminance value, all at the same um, brightness across board. In order to vary that a bit more, we can just bring in the use saturation node and then duplicate our object info node on this side and connect it to the value. Now, you see that some of these are dark while some of them are really light. Now, in order to make this effect less instead of this obvious we can bring down add a math node and then bring down the value to where it's not so obvious but you can see the slight difference in these meshes now we have this setup we can easily duplicate our mesh on the x-axis duplicate it on the z gx and we we have we have um like a brick texture going on and you see that none of these are the same so that's it guys so long and until i see you in the next one peace so let's play the corn <laughs> 